Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're going to be playing After the Curtain Call. So, I know nothing about this game, other than it has an interesting visual aesthetic. That is what drew me to the game. Yeah, pretty much bad habits are playing a real huge part here. So, with that being said, let's figure out what the game is about and get right into it. Oh, right, this is only Act 1. Oh, we search for books, okay. So, they may be developing more acts in the future. Illuminate the, the king actor. dreams he is king, and he lives in the deceit of a king, commanding and governing, and all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Where, then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches and fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that feigns and foregoes. Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. And his own dream, no man knows. And I too dream and behold, I dream I am bound oh my with chains, God, kill me. and I dream that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. Is this what theater is really like? What is life? A tale that is told. Because this one guy is kind of making me hate theater. A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. Okay, get on with the point. And what is a dream? But the absence of thought? Ooh, and what is a dream? Kitchy. But the life of another? That is only live in the mind. A dream is nothing. Please. Why don't you understand? It is nothing! All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Why did you come? We have nothing to give you. We are just actors following a script. Play your part. Uh, what? Life is, is a dream. You're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I I need you to do us a favor. Go go behind the stage and the radio. The radio turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it, please. It's really important. We're depending on you. Okay. Can I just no. You can't just jump off into the theater. Like a fucking loon. You have to be normal. Today's the day. This is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionates. They are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises. Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn. Th th that is, if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old. And today, us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I... I'm I'm getting nervous. I, is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. Ah, I I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. Jeffrey. Jeez. Does it do it every time? Today's the day. Yes, it does. That's a small touch. I actually. Okay. Um. Okay. I kind of want to just sound, but it's fine. 
I just want to turn down the music a bit, you know? Okay, so that's locked. Ah, you can't be unhinged on the stairs either. Weird. Electricity. Ooh. What's up here? Okay. On. Search for the key and access the electricity. Okay. Employees only. Okay, let me go touch the radio. You know, this place is kind of creepy. Oh, a book. Heroes for from Oblivion. Oh, one of five. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexius, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As legend says, a Shakespeare... Oh, sorry. A shepherd walking his sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexius passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said when the Roman Empire began, Alexius was the best warrior. From the abilities he had only lent, learned from watching others fight. He died during a battle, and it was rumored golden blood dripped from his wound. It is known for a fact he had offspring, but their whereabouts were lost to time. See, I never could get into acting. It's, I don't know, just too much for me. I have a very white Christmas. A mystical and horrible Horror full Lovecraftian tale about a kid who misled, who, misled by his grandfather's indications, awakes an elder being while making a snowman. A Christmas classic for the whole family, I must have. Oh, oh shit, I played this game! Is this the same dev as that fucking uh, snowman game? No fucking way. Noise. Well, I did my job. I touched it. That's all I can do. Now, is there a book in here? Oh, I'm almost guaranteeing you there is. Hell yeah. Okay, so, the radio isn't working. Fix the sounds, main electricity source. Employees only. So wait, why is this stage employees only? Is that a hand? Oh, I'm going crazy. Am I? Weird. I'm either going crazy. Or there's a constant hand that is flashing. Also, where does that key go to? Oh, right, there's a door up here. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? Dude, that's some tentacle porn shit I am not down for. Ah, oh, fine. Wait a sec. Can I 
fix that? Oh! Open the middle door. Oh, I did fix it. Hey. Uh, no. The tenth sister will hatch. Yeah, don't be creepy about it. The tale of Lontarian. The book narrates the life of Lontarian, a mythical creature living in old Philippine forest in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous piece of no narrative fantasy. Lutian seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. We had never had the theater for us, and from not having anything, to have the whole Gold Sign Theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but it has rooms everywhere, and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. We think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. Helena. That's nice. Ah, there we go. I wonder if we bring something back. The Fall of the Mayans. Oh, four out of five. The piece tells the story of the Mayans, Mayan soy, who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies, as the religion demanded. Since they didn't reach the sun, they instead became their counterparts, moths, living in the dark and forever searching sun's light. For the sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. Electricity key. Yeah, boy. Is it even possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No, even better. Is it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations which Helena is organizing, and some extra pounds Jeffrey has spent on books to write an original play. I always wanted to do that. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. Let's do it. And oh my god, can I just say, Hector's voice is so smooth and silky. God, it is just a treat. I like, I will be honest, I do actually like the um, natural camera sway. It is interesting. You don't see it fairly often, you know? Though... Pied Piper of Hamilton. Oh, I know this one. Actually, very well. It's kind of dark. Actually. Um, so that's fun. Yeah, it's like 40 children get abducted due to a town being uh, rat infested and cured by the Pied Piper. And then... Due to 
the town not wanting to pay? Uh, he steals the children. I'm just never seen again. Um, except for, like, it's usually either one or two kids. Either being deaf or having a disability where they can't walk as fast. And they're the only ones who, quote-unquote, survive or something like that. Yeah, there's a few theories on the whole thing. It's kind of cool. A classic story. The Pied Piper of Hamilton. However, in this book specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but that the flute summoned some creature, which was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. The book calls this creature Buck Gentlemen, I am not pronouncing that. Take your best goddamn guess, but I ain't. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? Probably not. Uh, up, down, come on. Ooh. Okay, that kind of gave me a heart attack. Life is dream. Kind of just reminds me of the song, like, life is a dream. Da, 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 da. I don't... I don't remember the whole song. I don't know, paranoia. Just about... That whole area, you know? And why is decoration not opening? God, fuck this shit. Oh, decoration. Oh, fuck! Oh, God. Fucking damn it. Exit the electricity room. Okay. Wait, was I supposed to get caught? Oh, you motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, it can't touch? Oh, I didn't know it can't touch the wire. Okay, this room is an extension that was not here before. Fuck, no. Okay. God. I won't lie. I am creeped the fuck out. I hate vents. Fuck me. Fuck me. What? That's it? You just completed After the Curtain Call, Act 1, Life is a Dream. Did you find all the books to play the entropies? Extra content? Did you find the Act 2 Wink Easter Egg? Fuck you! That's it? You gotta be kidding me!
Come on, I need more than that. Also, what was the Easter egg? Hmm, I wonder. Um, on our next piece of Life is a Dream by Pedro. Uh, I have no clue. Kaladin de la Barca? Segemond is an heir to the throne, but he was deceived. He was locked in a tower where the, he questions whether his role as king and life itself is reality or a dream. Oh, that's what the play is about. Oh, I don't care. It was such a boring fucking monologue. I'm confused. So... Ten sister, you whose life signs upon us, for our hearts beat and our steps sound at the rhythm of the music, will be your voice, will be your body, till your divine body meets the sky once again, we will serve unto your life. Amen. Amen. I guess. So I'm assuming this is part of the play. Kind of weird. What? The stage is not merely the meeting place of all arts, but also the return of art to life. Oscar Wilde. You talked too much. Agreed. Thank you. I can agree with that. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I hate. I like this puzzle, but I hate it, you know? Motherfucker. I will say, I do hope that, um, there are more puzzle varieties going forward. Really? Huh. Why is life a dream? Man. If I knew that, I don't know. I could do more, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck was that? Your part. <laughs> Okay. I just got got twice, I guess. Interesting. Whatever. Um. Yeah. So. Huh. Is this actually based on a play? Well, I guess. A book? I'm not too sure. Kinda confused. Um, I'm intrigued. I kinda want a second chapter. You got me hook, line, and sinker. I mean, you scared the shit out of me like twice. Actually, I think it's more like four times. Huh. Yeah, and I'm not... Okay, look. I'm not a big fan of the tentacle shit going on. Mmm. 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 No, no, no. That's asking for shit to happen. And 
I'm not down for that. I will say, though, despite the opening being really fucking boring, and me almost dropping it because of it, as soon as they moved on to everything else, it actually got me hooked. Which, you know what, is actually really good. I'm kind of, I will play anything, don't get me wrong. But I am kind of picky on what I like and don't like. And a lot of it does come down to execution. I think this game did really well, actually. It impressed me. But, that being said... Until we get a, an Act 2, I don't really have much to say, so I guess, with that being said, until Act 2, thank you for tuning in to The Frequency. This is The Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.